What's up guys, so it's late night on Labor Day, Monday, and uh, I'm going to try to get some videos out this week, but I've been so busy lately that uh, it just has been impossible. But I wanted to do one of those, like, what are you working on videos, uh, because I, I, that's a question I get all the time. <laughs> so, um, what a great time to uh, do that. So, uh, the current sort of in-progress project, like I said, time has been limited, so I've been working on this a little while is this 9620R. So you can see so far I've added a new front weight bracket and a big front weight. So this is just going to be a workhorse. Weights, weights, weights everywhere. Um, I've got some new wheels and tires on it. I'm going to have to touch up those wheels a little bit. They are all 3D printed. They come from Hector. Uh, you can find him on three on uh, Shapeways. I like them a lot. They're pricey as hell. And then of course being 3D tires, they don't paint worth a damn and they're you know easy to break or screw up so be warned but they're awesome they look fin they look phenomenal sorry about the terrible lighting here too and then of course i guess the the million pound gorilla in the room if you will is uh i've replaced this entire rear end of this tractor so lopped off basically the existing tanks that were uh, simulating a plastic tank from Ertl and replace that with these steel tanks. These are also from Hector. He's 3D designed these. They're incredible detail. This whole rear end, I guess I'll have to turn it like that because of the lighting situation in here. Uh, but we can kind of come down a little closer. If we can get it to focus, maybe eh, it might be too close to focus here. You can see, so we're, like I said, we're weighting this down. So these weights, these are all optional on his kit. And so I've got four weight suitcases on here, um, and if I can get in there, you can see the detail. There you go, a little better anyway. Uh, hydraulic outlets, obviously I'm going to put an SMV logo on there. Really nice, realistic hitch there. And then these tires are kind of just mocked up, but you can you can kind of see what I'm getting into there. God dang it, lighting is terrible. Damn. Whatever. <laughs> I'm having a day. I'm having a week. Um... Project 2 is a Krauss disc, bifold disc, so you can see that. I broke a wing. Like I said, I'm having a week, um, and I think I still have the part over here somewhere, although right this second, I don't see it either, uh, but you can see it triple folds or double folds. I don't know. We always call those triple folds for whatever reason. It actually only folds twice, I suppose. Well, one, two, yeah. It goes up and down on all that stuff, so this is perfect for like a uh, older four-wheel drive. And so, speaking of older four-wheel drives, working on a new Holland. <laughs> so, uh, this is an '82 series four-wheel drive. Uh, I do have the hood for it. Uh, I've got to do all this detail interior stuff first. So uh, I need to add my hydraulic levers and all that good stuff in there before I get too, too carried away. You can see I've done some of the detail painting already. I've added black where black needs to be added. The rest is gray. So I'll get my hydraulic levers in there. We'll throw on some cab glass and uh, you know some door handles and all that good stuff. And we'll call it good. This is So this is like the last of my non-detailed rear ends. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not like... The new one is like that John Deere level of detail, but uh, I've got a more realistic hitch and things like that going on there. I did this run on these tractors because um, a lot of guys wanted these hitches, so I did those first, and then now we're ready to... Um, I, I, the, the ones I'm doing for myself are going to be more detailed. Okay, so here are some folding headers. You can see how that works. So this is an IH. Um, I don't have the auger glued in just yet, so there's some goofiness here folding it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, you can kind of see what that looks like. Kind of a nice little header, I think. Uh, you got the PTO shaft. So this particular one does not have all this outfit on the top for all the cylinders and everything. The reason being is I wanted some of these to be that are will be a little bit cheaper um, to produce, so that guys that can't drop you know sixty seventy bucks on a folding header can get a folding header. So um, I've also 
been working on my versatile detail kits. So that's what those look like when you get it from Shapeways. It's just kind of this mess, <laughs> a mess of railing, if you will. And then here <clears throat> is what it looks like uh, on the tractor. You can kind of see, like I said, lighting sucks. I know. Sorry, guys. But uh, you can see all the rails and all that stuff. Got the grab rail back here on the cab even. And I've got more to add. I've got another rails here and then as well over here on the side rail. So that's kind of it. I got I got some Steiger rear ends I'm scratch building. Uh, but nothing uh, nothing close yet. And then I got uh, this flatbed I'm gonna do real soon, I hope. So Alright guys that'll do it it's kind of late so i kind of need to get to bed but uh anyway i thought you guys might want to see what i was working on and uh kind of see this uh steel tank john deere 9620 in progress a little bit still got a long ways to go on it but it's going to be sweet when it's done so all right guys catch you later thanks for watching